to the answer. <laughs> Did we? Get the weirdest breakfast I think I've ever had. So? No. No? No. Coffee is very nice, but it ain't coffee. Oh, that first taste of coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wake up. The sun's not shining. Wake up. The sun's not shining. Good morning, <coughs> good morning to you. Good morning, good morning to you. Hey, you can play with Leo. Yeah. <coughs> morning, everyone. Excuse the state of me. Not done nothing with my hair yet. Obviously, no makeup on. We're fresh out of bed, aren't we? I don't even know what time it is. It's 20 past seven in the morning. 20 past seven, normally I would be down on my coffee by now, but I'm about to tell you why, why we're not. Today I thought it'd be fun to join in with the challenge that's going around YouTube at the minute about eating in reverse. I thought I'd eat in reverse. So basically, you'd have your dessert in the morning and then, you know, breakfast would be your dinner. Lunch is pretty much the same, isn't it? But then for dinner, you have breakfast. So you, you, you get it, you just, you eat in reverse. So normally I'll be chugging back the coffee by now because, oh, do I need it, don't we? But no, I'm not allowed coffee. I thought to myself, I could just have a coffee and just not record it, not tell you, but I want to do it properly. So I don't tend to have dessert in the evening, but what I do do is I have a hot milk with honey and lavender. I have that in the evenings before bed just to help me sleep, it helps me relax, it helps me switch off and it's really tasty. So rather than my coffee to wake me up, I'm going to be having my honey lavender milk to get me to sleep. They're happy playing now so yeah rather than my coffee which I definitely need, I'm very tired. Um, on the menu is a milky drink and then you're just going to wait to see what I've got planned for breakfast, but it's going to be the weirdest breakfast I think I've ever had. But that's not yet. It's the evening time. Right now it's, you know, I'm about to go to bed. I haven't just got up, I'm about to go to bed. So let's get my milk. Normally I would use, I have this proper lavender honey, but I ran out, I've got two more on order, but for now, a normal honey, we'll just have to do. They're happy eating their breakfast over there. I can see you. I've got my milk. Oh, coffee's very nice, but it ain't coffee. <laughs> this time of the morning, I need my coffee. I thought, while they're happy eating, I'm going to get my face on. I am probably going to regret doing this, aren't I? When it comes to tonight, and James has got a yummy, a yummy dinner and I'll be having like a bowl of cereal or something just scraping this out of the of the bottle because I'm almost out yeah. I did a poll on Instagram yeah. not a poll a question and answer thing because I think I feel like I need a change a change in foundation and I wanted your your opinions on what one's best. I've used this one for absolute years. Number seven, Lift and Illuminate. Triple Action Serum. I do really like it. I just, I feel like I need to change. Is that yummy? Oh. Oh. Is it nice? So I thought this video would be a bit of fun. It's meant to be quite good for you, I think, isn't it? Eating like... Eating in reverse and not eating big meals at night. It's meant to be good for like bloating and I don't, I, don't, I don't actually know, but I just know it's 
it's meant to be good. So, you know the thing when everyone's doing it, I was like, I'll do it. Yeah, I can do that. So that is what we are doing today. But I am really enjoying doing these sort of like challenge type videos. I've got some on my list to do, which I'm really looking forward to. So leave some comments below telling me if you want me to do any more, what you want me to do. I've got one which involves James, so yeah, just, just let me know. I can't find my makeup sponge, so this will have to do. That is very nice. I do like some hot milk. I always call it Molly's milk because my nanny used to have a cow called Molly. So warm milk was always called Molly's milk. So I have Molly's milk before bed. <laughs> I think this is what I'm always gonna call it and with the little ones, I'll be calling it Molly's milk too. Okay, so the time is 9.32 in the morning. And I've got cod, vegetables and come on then. What have we got? I've got fish, veg, and mommy doesn't know how to say that. Say celeriac, 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 that's right, isn't it? Hang on. And it's like just gone half nine in the morning. This is our breakfast, or well, my breakfast, but I know you're gonna have some. Should we dig in? Should we have some? <laughs> Did you really? Let me, let, let me just check. Hello? Oh. Good girl. Um. Mm. Yum. Mummy's gonna have some fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like some fish? Mm. What's that? No. No? No. Who's that? Say hi. Hello. Ready? Go. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I mean, it's nice. It's not what I'd usually have for breakfast. If anyone hasn't tried celeriac, if that's how you say it, chips or mash, oh, it is so good. It reminds me of like parsnips. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And obviously so much healthier than chips because it's veg. And it tastes so nice. I put some garlic on there. Sometimes I do put like chip seasoning. Mm. So good. I think Leo's just woke up. Is that Leo? How is it they just know when you have food? How do you know? You only slept half hour. Yesterday you slept two. How dare I eat without you? How dare I? So mum, what were you thinking?
We're going to tuck in. Tuck into our breakfast. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it's now 12.24. Considering I ate all that for breakfast, the fish, the veg, the chips, I'm starving. You would think it would fill me up, but normally, I'm not normally much of a breakfast girl. I either don't have breakfast or I have something really small. And then about this sort of time, about 11ish, 12ish, I start getting peckish. I'm starving. So I don't know. Makes no sense. Makes no sense to me. I'm gonna demolish this. I've got a hot cross bun, some nice melted butter inside. I've got a peanut butter Kit Kat because I've got a bit of a headache coming on and for me, chocolate helps. If chocolate's one of the things which can cause a headache, but also if you've got a headache and you have some, it can make it better. So I've got a pounded headache coming on. I've had a bit of a, bit of a morning. Not, not all the kids' fault, but I won't go into that. Boring story. But yeah, peanut butter Kit Kat and an apple and a coffee. Oh my gosh, my first coffee of the day. Normally, as soon as I wake up, I'm having my coffee. So this, I am ready for you. Oh, that first taste of coffee. I would say in the morning, but it's not the morning anymore. It's the afternoon. Oh, I just like, oh. Does something to you, doesn't it? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna eat my lunch. This is all right, actually, isn't it? Obviously, my breakfast is my dinner. My dinner is my breakfast, but you can't really do much with lunch, can you? Lunch is lunch. If you've never dipped your Kit Kat in a cup of coffee, I mean, are you okay? Are you okay, hun? Can I just point out, although I've had a bit of a morning, I feel like I'm winning right now. Half 12, and both of them are asleep. Nevaeh didn't take that long to settle. She went through a phase where she just stopped napping for absolute weeks. Would not nap during the day. She's back to napping now, so I am very, I'm very glad about that. I need this time to just sit and it's quiet. There's no Peppa Pig on, there's no Bing, Ra, the noisy lion, all of that. I'm building work going on outside somewhere over there I can hear. Hear some banging. Can you hear that? Me neither. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. So I've had my dinner. I've had lunch. So the next thing. I feel like this, this confuses me a little bit. So, okay, so I don't have a mid-morning snack. So I've just basically, I wait till breakfast, haven't I? That's a long time. It's after 12, we don't normally eat till half seven to eight. Once we've got the kids in bed. No, no, no. Hmm. What am I gonna do? I can't go six hours with no food. We'll see, I've still got an apple to eat. I'm just gonna have to fill myself up with lots of water, aren't I? Not gonna lie, I am dreading breakfast slash dinner later because James is going to sit he's going to have what I had for breakfast <laughs> he's having the fish and the chips and the veg and it's going to look all lovely and I'm going to have a bowl of cereal not sure I don't think I'm going to have normally I'd have a coffee with a breakfast but coffee at night that ain't smart is it mm -mm. no maybe a cup of tea yeah a cup of tea will be all right so the next food I can eat is apart from this apple cereal and a cover lovely i need to make the most of this quiet time like kid free time i need to make the most of it i need to pump some milk for leo tidy up a bit because stuff everywhere i will see you either in a little bit or i'll see you at dinner time breakfast breakfast dinner time you know cereal time So it's six minutes past eight. It's our dinner time, but it's my breakfast time. Breakfast at eight o'clock at night. Yum. Well, James has got 
basically what I had this morning for my breakfast, my dinner. He's got normal chips, he didn't want the other ones, he's got normal. I finished my cereal, it was actually quite filling. As you saw, I filled the bowl to the top. Not had my cup of tea yet, I was gonna have it with dinner for breakfast, you know. <sighs> I can't, I can't get my head around that. But I think I will have it later because guaranteed I will start feeling a little bit peckish in about an hour's time. So I'll have a cup of tea then. But yeah, today was alright actually. I didn't like not being able to have my coffee first thing in the morning. Although the cereal was filling, I'm not keen on having cereal at night because I want, I want my dinner. James is eating chips next to me. I want some chips. I want, you know, I don't know, I want. Burger, chips, beans, cereal. It's tasty, it's alright, it just it don't do it for me for dinner. Apart from that and the coffee, it's been alright, it's been a bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. As I said earlier on in the video, let me know if you want me to do any challenges, what you want me to do, because I'm really enjoying it. It's fun, it's fun. Give it a thumbs up, make sure to comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!